scorpion fish. So we are going to bake the scorpion fish. Now I've asked I asked the butcher butcher to uh, gut the fish. So he has gutted and given it. And this is actually the uh, the spikes. So these are uh, poisonous. I mean when the fish is alive. So uh, but we are going to bake it the whole fish now. I have washed it and uh, wiped it and now I'm making two cuts in the middle right to the bone. On both sides. a pan uh, and added about uh, half cup of olive oil when it's hot I'm adding uh, one uh, sliced onion and uh, three cloves garlic and uh, after it's fried a bit then I'll add the herbs rosemary thyme and uh, sage with a uh, little about half teaspoon of uh, salt and little pepper powder about half teaspoon of pepper powder mix well and let it fry for another two minutes add about a half cup of cooking wine and uh, let it soak and uh, reduce in quantity once you reduce then you add uh, the tomatoes about uh, one can of uh, chopped tomatoes the quantity has reduced enough now i'm adding 400 grams of uh, chopped tomatoes mixing and uh, Allow it to thicken. Once it's thicken, then we'll put it off. I've peeled the lemon and adding the lemon peels to this and allowing to thicken again. Continue thickening. Mix till the tomatoes are all nicely mashed and you get a nice sauce. Make a pocket like cavity here, like the cavity, both sides. So you can, you can put the sauce in later on. The sauce is ready and now I will put it off and allow it to cool. A roasting tray, line up with either baking paper or foil or banana leaf or these are saffron leaves uh, saffron uh, leaves so I am using saffron leaves here so and put a little of the sauce on top of the leaves and a little I am going to insert inside the fish cavity and put some uh, lemon slices I'm going to place this on top of the sauce now on the other side of the cavity I'm going to add fish I put the remaining sauce on top of the fish put 
you can put little inside here in the near the head this cavity here and balance you put on top of the fish Now we will cover it with the foil and then I will bake it on a fan post on 135 degrees or otherwise 180 degrees. Put some lemon slices on top and now cover it with the foil. Preheated oven. for about 35 minutes and check it's cooked now what we'll do is we'll grill it for about uh, 5 minutes so get some crispiness on top Fan grill 200 degrees for 5 minutes. Putting it off now. Now we move it to a serving tray. Some chopped parsley and spring onions. And you can place some and ready to have. Enjoy.